Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive the King. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's that season again where we celebrate Christmas. You know, think about fireworks, think about family parties, think about lots of food. Okay, in summary, it's just fun, food and fellowship. But really, why do we celebrate Christmas? For us Christians, it's all about uh, commemorating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. But, as, but a question lingers around the society. If Jesus was God, did he really have to be born? And if so, does he make the function of the Trinity dysfunctional? But also, would God have used any other ways of redeeming man other than Jesus Christ coming to be born and of course die to save mankind? My name is Evans Karanja, the Missions Director at Focus Kenya. And in a few minutes, let me attempt to respond to this question as to why Jesus had to be born. For us to be able to understand this, we have to understand the context of the relationship between God and man. And this relationship comes from the time of creation. When God has created everything uh, by his word, he ends up creating man in his own image and likeness so that he can take care of his creation, so that he can also become productive and have dominion. But we see God giving instructions to man at the Garden of Eden. And there he tells him what to do and also what not to do. But man chooses to become rebellious by his own choice or rather by listening to the devil who is an arch enemy of God. And so by following the directives of the, the devil, man becomes rebellious towards God. And this is what we commonly call sin. And it is sin that caused a separation between God and man. And that relationship became distorted and somehow destroyed. And therefore God began a journey, and a very long journey, of trying to reco uh, reconcile man back to himself. And this journey took um, lots of things. First of all is that God provides commandments to show man why, uh, what he needs to know about what he needs to do. And man breaks all the commandments and becomes even more rebellious towards God. And God, because he loves us and is a relational God, Right from uh, Genesis, he's, he's a relational God. He, he wants man not to punish man, but he wants man to, uh, to live a good life. And so he gives sacrifices that when man breaks commandments, he can actually be forgiven when he gives certain sacrifices. But that doesn't work either. And so secondly, God you know, starts using human beings to bring back a man to himself. You know, he uses people like Moses to draw the children of Israel from Egypt and he shows his salvation through that way. We, sh we see him, you know, raising up judges, raising up kings, raising up prophets, all with one common message to show man that God indeed loves him and none of that works. And that answers one of our questions that are there any other ways that God would have saved man? Yes, and all those ways did not work. And secondly, is that now God decides to come to the world himself. And this is how we see Jesus Christ coming into the picture. And we see in the book of Matthew, uh, 1 verse 1, is that Jesus Christ is called the son of David and the son of Abraham, dictating the role in which, in which he was coming to play on earth. And when we go to the book of John 3.16, it summarizes that role in a very simple way. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It is because of love that Jesus Christ had to be born. It's because of love that God had to come and dwell among us. And for us to be able to identify with God, God decides to become like one of us. And so that he can experience the life the way we experience it. So God knows what we go through on a daily basis. God understands the ups and downs of this life because Jesus Christ lived that life. But when he lived that life, he was still man but also God. He never lost his identity. And therefore the Trinity was not lost. It never became dysfunctional because it was all God in the three persons. He was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit during his ministry on earth. And therefore it was important that Jesus got, uh, uh, came to earth as a form of man 
to relate with us, to identify with us, but also to show us the way back to the Father. And we know after that he paid the ultimate cost by dying for us on the cross. And ours is very simple. It's just to believe in him. It's to, to have our faith in him because we know he died, he resurrected and went back to heaven. And soon he is coming back again. And this time he will come back as a judge to judge the world of its conduct. And therefore, as you celebrate Christmas uh, this season, remember that Christ is the reason for this season and he demands your attention as well. So share the love of Jesus, commemorate him and also tell others about him. A Merry Christmas to all of you and a Happy New Year.